Hello and welcome to another absolutely beautiful evening here in beautiful and sunny Nova Scotia, well outside at least. And welcome to my channel, The Optimistic Gardener. My name is Steve Farley and this is my son, Ethan. Uh, for you guys that have, <laughs> for you guys that have not not met him before he's um, obviously this is part of his homeschooling now we're doing a bit of a biology lesson I think um, so Ethan's going to be helping me today and um, this is I don't know something like the fifth or sixth in my beginner's guide to growing your own veg series taking you from from seed all the way to harvest hopefully over the next few months and I don't know it must have been a week ten days ago I planted these tomatoes and they've they've shot up some are looking a touch leggy but they're in mostly in the greenhouse throughout the day now so um, they're firming up nicely so I thought I would take the chance um, as they're they're starting to grow on nicely to uh, pop them up now one of the things about tomatoes is actually what you can once you know when we're going to pop them up now um, we're actually going to pop them up quite deep all the way up to their leaves near enough because once tomatoes they actually grow more roots from their stems as we um, as we put them up and as they grow. So the deeper you plant them, they're going to get lots more roots, so lots more energy up into the plant themselves, and they get nice and sturdy when they get big and tall. So we'll be putting them up, putting them deep again now, and then when we put them out again, um, out into the um, out into the garden or in the greenhouse, whatever we're going to do, I'll be planting them deep again. So today Ethan is going to be helping me pop these some of these tomatoes up at least so I can at least show you how to go through potting up the majority of these tomatoes and this I've got this plastic one here with modules and it's a good one to pot them up into because obviously it's got nice deep modules there so I can plant them quite deep now. So Ethan is going to be my hole maker. Ethan where's the, um, the pen? So if you can make lots of nice deep holes all the way in all of these modules, I will start to take these tomatoes out. Now, everyone's always a bit scared of this bit here, um, opening up your tomatoes, digging them out. You've got to be a little bit careful, but they're, they're, they're pretty strong. So literally all I'm going to do is, and these ones here, these San Marzano ones, the big, the big uh, paste tomatoes, I think they are. They've come on a treat. So all I'm going to do is dig my little dibber. How are you getting on there, mate? All right, mm -hmm. good lad. So I'm going to dig this in, nice and wide away from the plant, and I've got one, two, three here. So when you're handling the plants themselves, you want to. Try not to touch the stem at all. Use the leaves when you're taking them apart. But I can just break this apart nicely. I've got one there already, that's good. And then I can just take these two apart. Can just split them apart. Give them a bit of a shake. And there we are, look, two tomato plants. Right, if you hold fast there a sec, son, I'm going to so what we're going to actually do is take the plant, obviously by the leaf, get your dibber, drop it into the hole, into the hole and just push down gently, make sure it's a nice wide hole, push down gently, so most of the actual stem is covered again now, see that son, so what's going to happen there is all of that extra stem that I've put in there will grow roots and make it even nice and stronger. Okay. Alright? Yeah. So let's get a few more of these in. So I've buried half the stem there. Now I did have three. Where's that other one gone? Oh, there it is. And obviously what you want to do as well is make sure you've watered the actual plants themselves before you dig them out, just to give them a bit of extra protection against the shock of 
of taking them out. Here we are, see look, halfway. And this will ensure that we get nice, healthy, strong plants as they're growing up now, because as they're growing up, we've potted them up nice and deep, more roots, get themselves nice and sturdy, nice and feeding. Let's get a couple more out. You can see there, it's quite a nice, strong, healthy um, amount of root there, and that's only after 10 days worth of, of growing. And we can also see just the second set of leaves popping up. Now people often say that you don't put up until you've seen the second set of leaves growing, but I found that if you, even if, you know, you've got a good strong bit of growth here, so we want to t make use of that stem as much as, as quickly as possible, so, you know, there's no reason with that, with that amount of roots in there that we can't pot these up now. Right, so I going to carry on along down the line with these and then I'll come back to you and see what we're going to do next. <coughs> okay that's all the San Marzano, well I've got a few left over there but that's a full tray of, of San Marzano, 21 big plants. So these are going to be quite big plants these with nice big tomatoes so uh, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that's, hopefully that's going to be a few tomato pastes for me to uh, knock up in the autumn anyway. Don't forget to um, mark up your tray and give them a good water. You alright mate? Yeah, give them a good water and again a nice light airy place. We're getting still getting quite a bit of frost here in um, Nova Scotia. We, um, I wouldn't even think of putting them in a cold frame at the moment. Um, what I do is I, I put them in the house in the warm in the um, in the evening and then bring them out in the uh, in the morning back out to the greenhouse. But these will probably need potting up again before I plant them out in June sometime. But that is the labours of the gardener, and half the fun is is doing that. So. That's, like I said, 21 tomatoes nicely done. I'm going to uh, carry on and do the rest of these in some other um, trays that I've got. A quick update on the lettuce. We planted the lettuce only a few days ago. And as you can see, you can see there, all the lettuce are coming up nicely. So the Asian greens, the rocket, or arugula as you call it, um, a couple of different types of Lettuce itself, Golden Crunch and Grand Rapids, they've all come up nicely. Um, so that'll be they'll be going in again still. I'll probably pop these up in about another week's time, depending on how they look, depending on how they grow on a bit. Onions, they haven't um, come through, and that's it for the minute. So there we go. How to pot up your tomatoes. It was only like literally 10 days, if that. Again, it, use your judgment there. If they've come on and they've got a, a nice bit of growth going and they're looking a bit as if they need potting on, especially if those second leaves have come anyway, then, then pot them up. Nice and deep. Don't be scared of your, your plants. You know, As long as you're not crushing the actual stems themselves, just take them out by the leaves, pry the roots apart nice and deep so that we get another nice set of roots coming down that stem and they will grow on nicely. Things are coming on. Anyway, jobs are good.